Hello again. Uh, in this brief video, I'm going to over, go over the basics of the Nutrition Diet Analysis Project, which is one of the uh, assignments that is in my course. Now, uh, of course, what we're going to do is, as, well, depending upon what semester you're taking, uh, a diet analysis project that may be seven consecutive days or three days, you have to look at the syllabus as to which one uh, I've assigned you specifically. But the diet analysis software itself is to be done on choosemyplate.gov or www.choosemyplate.gov. Now, um, when, well, the first thing you do is you uh, write down everything you've consumed in as much detail as you can during the time that you're doing the analysis. Now, um, the more detail, the better. When you're finished with that, then you're ready to get onto here. You'll need to build a profile, tell a little bit about yourself. Uh, they have a, uh, a thing called Super Tracker where you get to enter your uh, food and drink. Now, in some cases, uh, it's menu driven and you'll get to select what you know, matches what you have. But in some cases, you may not be able to find an exact match, in which case you may have to pick the closest thing and use your best judgment. That's okay. Now, once you've entered all the information, then you need to have two printouts. Now, there's all kinds of things you can print out. Um, one, of course, is the nutrients report. That's what you have to have and the food groups and calories report. So you don't need other printouts besides that. Now what I have in my hand is a completed uh, diet analysis project from a previous semester. In fact, the person uh, completed it, did everything right, and made a 100. So um, the nutrients report, I'm sorry, the um, nutrients report will look something like this. And at the top it'll say nutrients report. Now, It'll list the nutrients here. It will list the target, that is what you should be getting. Then it'll list what you're actually getting. And then it has status, okay, over, or under. Okay, that's the nutrients report. The food groups and calories report is going to look similar. But instead of listing nutrients, it's gonna list food groups and calories. So again, you have the list of the food groups then it has the target, that is what you're supposed to be getting, what you are getting, and whether it is okay over or under. Now make sure you get those printouts because you need those to do your written summary. Now your written summary has to be typed and it has to include the following, nutrient deficiencies and excesses, dietary causes for these deficiencies and excesses, and proposed dietary modifications. You are not required to make these modifications. Uh, you're just required to propose them. Now, <clears throat> the deficiencies and excesses, that comes from the nutrients report. And for our purpose, uh, okay means exactly that. You're getting the right amount. You're achieving the target value. Uh, over means an excess and under means a deficiency. Now, it's not really an excess or a deficiency unless it's hugely off. But for the purpose of this analysis, we're going to consider uh, deficiencies, things that are listed as under, and excesses, things that are listed as over. Dietary causes for deficiencies and excesses. Well, that's where the food group and calories report comes in. Um, by the time you do this, you'll have a pretty good knowledge of uh, what food groups are good for various nutrients, and you can put the two together. Okay. So, uh, for example, if you're deficient in calcium and your dairy group is low, then make that connection in your report. Proposed modifications. What would you change? Now keep in mind your grade is not going to be based on how good you ate, but it will be based on did you complete the assignment? Did you turn in everything to be turned in? Now, the things to be turned in include the raw data. Now the raw data is simply what you wrote down. You could turn it in in that format or you could print it off from Choose My Plate, uh, in which case it would be listed under meals. So you could do it either way. So this particular report has that. Uh, you have to include the nutrients report when, when you turn it in, food groups and calories report, and your type summary. So again, uh, this has all that, and the person made a 100. If you have further questions, you can find me in my office or send me an email. Um, and good luck.